this uh, short little slideshow is to introduce our newest product which is a fix for this uh, service bullet that came out on the horizontal spar cracks. So we've come up with this little part and uh, we think this is a much less intrusive alternative to doing this uh, service bullet. This part's very strong and it's uh, very lightweight. It's uh, about, I think it was 45 grams in weight. They're made out of the 301 stainless, which is an extremely strong structural type of stainless intended for this type of application. Uh, the parts, the way we supply them, uh, don't have the holes in, obviously. And um, you have to drill out a few rivets, and then this gets sandwiched in between uh, the, the rib and the spar where the cracks occur. Now, the first thing a guy needs to do is start and drill out the six rivets that you see marked here. Now, some airplanes have eight rivets. This particular one is a RV-7, and it has the six rivets. So these rivets that are marked, a guy wants to drill those out, and once you get those drilled out of the way, then you'd need to take a, a putty knife and stick in between the flange and the rib and the spar, and pry the little flange back about 50 thousandths to make room for the new part. And typically the new part will slide right in there with no problem whatsoever. Now, <clears throat> you need to put a black line on the part that we supply right where the bend is. There's a six degree bend that we put in the stainless to follow the swept uh, angle on the horizontal spar. If you put a black line right directly on that bend line, then you can slide the stainless piece underneath the flange and you'll see right where to stop. Just stop in the center of your line. At that point, put a couple of clamps on, like some good uh, vice grip type welding clamps to hold the stainless part in place. And to locate the stainless part, once you've divided that line, that you've put on with the permanent marker, uh, then you need to move the stainless part up and down to center it on the spar. There should be about an eighth of an inch of spar at the top beyond the stainless part and an appropriate amount down below. Now once you've clamped it in place, you take a drill and you go through and you mark a couple of opposing holes. Say one at the top and maybe one at the bottom. Um, at that point, you don't try to drill this with it in place because it's extremely hard material. Uh, most air drills are, are far too fast. This needs to be drilled with a drill bit going slow, somewhere in the couple of hundred RPM range is ideal. So you reach through and spot the holes so you can see them on the stainless. And then take the clamps off, pull the stainless pieces out, and you can see where the drill touched it. At that point, take a good center punch and center punch a couple of the holes. Then take it over to a drill press and drill it. Once that's done, you can stick the part back in with a couple of clicos. Then you mark a couple of more holes. And you do this until you have all of the holes drilled. Now in this particular one, we've added two more holes where the 
uh, rib flanges are. We've added one at the top and one at the bottom. So originally there were six holes, now there's going to be eight. Now once you have that established, click over the thing all in, look at it, and make sure that you're happy with the locations, and then move over to the other side. And you do the other side exactly the same. Everything that we show here, uh, you just go over to the other side and duplicate. Now once that's done, you can click on everything in, see where it's going to be, and if it's, you're satisfied with that, and then take the clicos out one at a time and, and start putting, uh, riveting the, the parts to back together. Now, with this mod, it isn't necessary to take all the rivets out of that rib and uh, get back inside there because really all you're trying to protect is this area where the cracks were occurring uh, and it isn't necessary to go way back inside to do that because there's no crack cracking going on back in in there so also if you look closely at, at this you can see the notches that we put in the stainless part, in the one in the top and one in the bottom. Those correspond with the notches in the spar where the cracks were occurring. Our notches are roughly uh, a quarter of an inch deeper than the edge of the spar. So later you can remove your fairing and check to see if your cracks have stopped or if you install this and there are no cracks present when you install it it gives you a way to go back in there and verify that there's no cracking occurring because you're not really covering up the area you'll be able to go back in there and, and do the inspection say when you do your your annual condition inspection now <coughs> If when you start, you have cracks, then we would suggest that you go in and stop drill those cracks prior to installing this part, just so it doesn't keep going. But the bottom line here is, if let's assume for a minute that you got a crack at the top and, and one at the bottom and the crack uh, that they propagated and moved towards each other and, until they touched. If this piece is spanning that crack and it's approximately four times stronger than the original material in that sheet on the, on the back of the spar, uh, it wouldn't matter. Uh, this, this part is so, so strong that uh, you could just go, in my opinion, on and disregard it completely. Um, if that piece actually cracked clear through, I, I don't think there's any possibility of you losing the tail or anything, but with this stainless piece over the top of it, that's virtually can't happen. So this is a little less intrusive uh, fix for this cracking problem. And we have these now in stock. And we've uh, sent out about 25 sets now to other people. And uh, they're in, in the process of installing them, and a few are installed already. So um, take a look, see if this is for you. This may not be for everybody. Some guys may want to go through the work of uh, putting the aluminum pieces from vans on there. But, uh, if we can help anybody out and they have any suggestions or they are interested in this part, just feel free to give us a call. And, uh, perhaps this can save you some work and a little grief. Now at the end of this slideshow, uh, we're going to put up uh, a material sheet that gives all of the specifications 
on this 301 stainless. Uh, a lot of the guys were inquiring as to the properties of this material, so this should uh, explain that. So keep in mind these are very precision laser cut parts uh, out of the best and the finest material you could buy. So, uh, it's not just a aluminum band-aid. So anyway, again, have a look it over, see if it's for you. And let us know if we can help. Thanks.